On Friday, Hawaii will commemorate 50 years of statehood, but Hawaii's history started long before we entered the Union. Hawaii has always been home to groundbreaking technology, even in the 1880s. Ron Mizutani reports. King David Kalakaua earned the nickname the Merry Monarch because of his love for a good time. Kalakaua also had another passion. King Kalakaua was fascinated with technology, and on his around the world tour in the early 18, uh, 1880s, he stopped in Menlo Park, New Jersey to meet with Thomas Edison. Two years earlier, he had perfected the light bulb. Kalakaua asked Edison to bring electricity to Hawaii. Five years later, an insurance executive named Charles Otto Berger organized a demonstration of electric light at Yolani Palace, something not even the White House was warned to. In the White House, they were afraid of electricity. But even then, when they put electricity in the White House, they had servants standing next to the switch, and it was their job to turn it on and off. The, the residents of the White House were not allowed to touch it. Kalakaua was convinced it was something he wanted. And on November 16, 1886, on Kalakaua's birthday, Iolani Palace became the world's first royal residence to be lit by electricity. 1886, uh, we had electrified Iolani Palace, a lot of downtown. Uh, the original generation facility was behind me on Nuguwana Stream, just a little bit further back than the Oahu Country Club today. Princess Kailani flipped the switch that connected the generator off the stream there, and that building still exists, by the way, although there's nothing in it. A year later, the first homes and businesses had electricity, and by 1890, nearly 800 homes enjoyed the luxury. So, the Ilani Palace had electricity four years before the White House, before Buckingham Palace, before any other royal palace in the world. In October of 1891, Hawaii Electric Company was incorporated, thanks to the vision of Hawaii's last reigning king. Ron Mizutani, KHON2 News.